Yo guys, and welcome to episode number 10 of the Dad Bob Vlog. Uh, firstly, apologies for last week. I didn't do an episode last week. I did do a bit of film and I did get manage to get out, but unfortunately, I did kind of come down with some a, a bit of a bit of a bad illness, severe case of man flu. It, uh, it really, really did set me off my feet. And yeah, so this was the last bit of footage from that week that I filmed. Yeah, I just got back. Had to give up then. I'm absolutely gutted with myself, but just <laughs> simply put, I'm not well. Game over. Yeah, gutted. Yeah, that was me a week ago. Absolutely goosed. Yeah, it was like five miles in to um, to a 15 mile run, and, and I was absolutely knackered. There was a man down. Man down! Yeah, I was quite poorly. Um, didn't have COVID, but like, I just turned out to have a bit of a chest infection, and uh, yeah, it was it was a bit rough. But you know, I put a, I put a tweet out on Twitter, and you know. I was overwhelmed by this, the response I got, you know, everyone was uh, quite supportive and, you know, I did go against all advice and went out anyway, like like an absolute superhero, but came back like a super two. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, you know, I had 10 days off and then I went out for a 10k, as you'll see in my nutshell coming up, and I still could feel it, like, you know, obviously I probably back to about 90%. But um, it's you know it's one of them things like resting and recovery is probably part of this journey, isn't it? And I've probably maybe not asked too much of myself if if I need to rest, uh, because at the end of the day, if you don't rest and recover, um, your body's just gonna let you down, isn't it? Uh, or mine is anyway, because it's been battered over the years. But yeah, I. I my advice to anybody is uh, listen to your body and listen to your mates. Don't try and be a hero because I think you get a bit uh, a bit proud. You don't want to lose your gains and all that, which I certainly don't. Nobody does, but you know, at the end of the day, if you don't if you don't rest, if you don't recover, uh, I suppose that goes for injuries as well. You know, if you got a little niggle there, like what, what's better, going out for a run and potentially damaging it, or like you know, further injury it or just resting it, and then you'll be you'll be fine for months to come you know longevity is the key i guess but here we go let's not waste any more time let's get straight into the week in a nutshell sun's out and i'm feeling better let's hit the bricks lads Halfway through this first 10k vlog, 10k run, we got Bob Vlog halfway in. Then I think we'll get to run through like Tanky Valley. Now I'm down. It's just the um, race that we're not to me of running like just on the road and down the east line to the crap weather. It's all that there. Um, still really stiff like after being over. Other than that, all sound. That's the way. one I've had uh, 10 days off running and that 10k I probably um, I probably could have done it a bit quicker I'd stopped for a few cars and whatnot a bit of traffic and, and there's a lot of people about with dogs and stuff today but I'm really really happy with that considering I've been like virtually dying for at least a weekend and so yeah hopefully we'll crack on see you on uh, Saturday morning bright and early
sun is shining, weather is sweet, let's get this done. Three and a half in. This is class, I love the sun. It's that perfect weather where it's not boiling. But the sun's out. Can you enjoy the surroundings? I just love being up, makes me roots a little bit. Hey, quick problem. I can't build that. I just realised I'm going to stop some water too. Nice day, but it makes me lovely. Stop the violence from the police. My dad used to say, but now he's the city got caught in a jam. To win the dare with the cops and rockers, and he killed another man. Hey, so it's seven and a half miles in on the dad's bodyguard. Um, it's long drawn after all this. Just got out of the camel down. Just gonna have a look at the other ranch because. Should have got around there a lot quicker, but there's a heck of a lot of people about, and that's not the problem. Good to see people out enjoying the weather. And kids not playing on video games and that, but would it kill you just for letting me pass when you're feeding ducks or not put all your fishing tackle out all over the pack? But other people are trying to go, or if you're trying to cross the bridge with about a nanny in your family, just let me pass first. So I don't have to wait like 25 seconds for y'all. I don't normally hate people, but when they're affecting me here, uh, it's like that. Oh, right, that's over, tracking on. Eight and a half miles in, hydration levels are critical. Came out without any money or a drink. But my big sister here, till steps in, saved the day, and she's gonna let me uh, stop her for a drink. Praise the Lord. I got for that. Big shout to my big sis Rachel. Saved my life there, kid. Thanks, nice one. It was um, Friday's efforts of a half marathon done. It was um, started out well. Uh, I got around Carmel Dam. I was getting a bit, a bit agitated, as I said before. Um, I, maybe I was just a, a road hog. I don't know. Maybe something like that. But um, I didn't. I, <laughs> Started out good and then towards probably the 10 mile mark was really, was really feeling it. I don't want to make excuses, but I didn't prepare well at all. I, I should have made sure he had like a drinking order. I didn't plan like a stop in my route, so you had to stop at our Rachel's and you know, just little things like that. And then like negative thoughts come in your mind of I drank enough and took enough fuel on board. Um, yeah, <laughs> training for a marathon, you've got to keep remembering that it's not an easy thing to do. And for all you can say, um, your training's going well and whatnot. Not everyone can be a super run, and I suppose I've just come back from illness, so I'll leave that in the rear view mirror and crack on for next time. And you know, just, just, you know, forget about it and move on. <laughs>
I'm a bit disappointed in myself because I, I normally discipline myself that much where I, I make sure I get out. Hence why in my previous videos, you know, just, just due to life being as it is, I, you know, I go out five, six o'clock in the morning to make sure that it's done. So maybe I could have, you know, gone out before work or something like that. It's something I'll look into in the future. But obviously, you know, we're all human beings with lives at the end of the day. We're not, uh, well, you know, most of us, we've got full-time jobs and, you know, commitments to sometimes get, you know, you have to put them first and there's nothing wrong with that. So maybe I have to look at things moving forward to make sure that, you know, I, I get the runs in and I get my miles in for the week. Something I'll definitely be looking at uh, for next week's episode. Um, what I want to say is, how good is running in the sunshine? My mood is so much better because I'm not gonna lie. When when you work all day and you can hear the rain coming down and you're looking at the weather forecast and you're thinking, oh god, I've got to run ten miles in that, um, or it's freezing cold. Um, just that sun for the mood and breaks up the monotony of like you know your runs because you know you're going home it's still light you know it's bright and it's you know it's more enjoyable to run round and alter your roots a bit uh, because at the end of the day you know it gets a bit boring especially you know for myself just running down the east lanks all the time you know it's, it gets boring i love being out you know running through sankey valley like as you could see then i was around carmel dam and it was you know, glorious, glorious day. You know, the, the water was nice. It, it was like perfect running conditions because the sun wasn't, excuse me, the sun wasn't like, you know, battering you, like in terms of like melting you. You know, it was like still quite cool. So, you know, it was sun air bright, you know, all, you know, nice birds were out. I mean, the ones that fly, you know, it, it was just good to see. It was good to see how like kids running around and playing and stuff and, you know, people out enjoying walks. I did get really annoyed, as you said, then uh, the amount of human traffic in in the Camel Dam was absolutely fuming. Because I there was one point in particular where you know if you're familiar with the Camel Dam, just before you get to Sandy Bay, there's a like a narrow bridge, and you know there was a fella like as I approached it, there was a fella with his his daughter, and I was like, well, let these pass. And then like at the other end, there was a family of about eighteen. Um, you know, this and this bridge is like probably about forty yards, fifty yards, and it, it you know, it would have took me about what four or five seconds to run over the bridge, but no, I had to wait for like I was stood there for about two minutes, basically letting people pass. I was like, God, can't you just let me pass on my own? Anyway, you know, for that ranting, um, yeah, I just loved it. Um, so that's pretty much this week. Uh, please don't forget, guys, I am running the Lancaster Marathon uh, in aid of Clare House, Clare House. They're amazing. They're basically angels. Um, you know, they provide care for critically ill and you know terminally ill children, and they provide support for the families as well. They're, they're just an amazing, amazing cause. It's something I'm really excited to you know get my teeth into. You know, helping them out basically. You know, obviously, if it's a small difference, it's a small difference. Like we, me doing this can help, and I, I, I do really enjoy it. Um, be just giving please just donate if you can if you, if you can't that's that's fine too you know just just share it uh, i'll put the link in the description below and you know we're nearly up to like 200 quid which i'm i'm over the moon about uh, aiming to raise 500 quid if we can raise more fantastic but yeah please 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 just just at least share it that's all i ask uh, but that's it that's me this week and uh, if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please 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 you'll help me out if you subscribe and as always if you like my videos and you want to get notified please click my bell all right then see you in the next cartoon and uh, run well in the sun see you lads i, I believe i can fly